Hey guys, it's Michaela, and this week I'm in Tokyo. Um, Sharla invited me up to Tokyo to collaborate with her on her project, so I decided to take that opportunity to kind of take a little bit of an extended stay um, up here in Tokyo. And I rented this Airbnb, and I kind of wanted to show you because it was really cheap. I always use Airbnb, I never stay in hotels anymore because um, hotels are overpriced and they're small and crowded and just overall super lame. So um, I wanted to show you this Airbnb that I got for this um, this this trip, this, this small visit to uh, Tokyo. First of all, this apartment is old as balls, but I feel like in Tokyo, you're really hard pressed to find something that's close to the station and affordable and like spacious and new. I think if it was a new apartment, this would cost a fortune. And right away we've got this nice spacious kitchen, which I quite like. It's very simple, um, very spacious. You could, you know, stay here with a family, I guess. Have four people at the table. You could even cook if you wanted to. There's a uh, gas stove right here. Oh, all the dishes are down here. I kind of wish that our house was like as clean and basic as this, but yeah. Um, so then we go to the kitchen and then when we turn right, We've got a beautiful little living room, and I guess like size-wise, it's not a very big living room. But the way that they've uh, you know designed it with the long couch, the small table, the small TV TV stand, it it feels big. It feels big, and I love the red and the green combination. It just makes the room look alive. I actually I think the I think that these um, couches can make an extra bed. Yeah, they, yeah, this definitely folds down. So these fold down into like two extra beds. And in the bedroom itself, we have two beds here. These are very basic. They're not, you know, the most comfortable beds in the world, but um, they do the job. And because I'm cheeky, I slept in one the first night and then I slept in this one last night because, I don't know, because I can. Hotels in Tokyo, they'll run you anywhere between like 80 to like $150 a night, depending on the location. This is $41 a night and it's like the size of like five hotel rooms. It's crazy. Um, the one downside, as it is an old apartment, like the bathroom is quite dirty. This is the shower room. I'll show you. This is the shower room, and then there's like the laundry. This is my towel. I use the towels, so they're kind of messy. But um, yeah, and then the bath is like this thing with like a little hose. Hose. The toilet. Actually, the toilet room is quite cute. <laughs> I like this. It's adorable. And they decorated the door with. Where do you plan to go on your next trip? I'm going home. And I can't get over just how like spacious and comfortable and just like wonderful this apartment was because I don't know, I just like, I found it very relaxing. I did see a cockroach in the stairwell and that, but I mean like cockroaches are just such a thing in summer in Japan. Like. If you live on one of the lower levels of an apartment complex, you cannot avoid cockroaches. They just get in everywhere. And you know, like, they're... They're, they're cute. They're... I don't know. I try not to think about them too much. Like, I don't love them, but I, I don't... I don't... They're not gonna ruin my day, you know? So yeah, there was a cockroach in the stairwell, and it was huge. And it did startle me, but it didn't, like, make me feel like this room was any less safe or clean or whatever. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description to like my referral link because if you come to Japan and you want to try Airbnb and you use my referral link like you will get I think like 30 to 40 dollars off your stay and then I also get a referral bonus and then I can stay at <laughs> more Airbnbs if we could both get a discount that'd be really nice because then when I come up and visit Tokyo like I don't spend as much money on accommodation and I can spend it on other things yay alright I gotta go my friends waiting for me but yeah to you again soon.